We caught it yet. Yeah, be great. That's a pillar. I'm not ready, Steve. You've just, you've just started me by. Pillar. Knots. We do have to heist that. Not bad. Not bad at all. In life? In, 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 well, technically, we were stone slow by when we camped not long ago. Yeah, but we're having fun. We are. I never said that. So I said that wasn't the point. Nigel and I have been discussing the, the beauty of this place and how we've probably seen about five people the entire day. Why why aren't people walking here? Um, all right, it's an extra half an hour past Keswick and free parking. But it's stunning. Well, today it is. On a cold, wet, miserable day, it might not be quite as nice, but today. Right then folks, this is uh, Black Sail Youth Hostel. Um, the, the toilet block is open all year round, so if you're up here and you need to visit, you can go in, but flush it and for hell's sake, just leave as you find it. Now, the, uh, the, the manager is on site today, a lovely fellow called James, and um, he said that you've pretty much got a book like 18 months in advance to try and get one of the well, 25 I think the sort of bunks that are here so this is where you're going to be sort of visiting the hostel itself so you've got three different suites there's Haystacks, Kirkfell and uh, Great Gable and then as we go through the front door you can see the communal area there's a Nigel So when it's cold, we've got a fire for you. And you can make yourself something tasty in here. So if you wanted to make yourself uh, a coffee as you're passing through to go to wherever, um, you're more than welcome if you just pop a, a little donation in there. It's beautiful. It's great, absolutely great. Now, Nigel and I have been um, pointed in the direction of a suitable campsite, which is over here. So that's where we're going to be tonight. And apparently it's a full house at the youth hostel, so happy days. And there's a the valley. Right, layer of rocks, the wall behind is a windshield, wind's obviously coming towards the camera and now I'm going to find the bigger twigs and lay them across there to protect the ground from the fire that's going to be built. So here's how we are at the moment, so just gathering wood, um, just over that ridge is Nigel and um, there's loads of old uh, felled tree, They're, they are dead as you like, uh, so we're getting the wood from over there and bringing it over here, um, that's the dry sort of second stage uh, kindling that I've got and then we're going to put the, uh, the slightly bigger twigs on just to get it going and in the middle I've sort of made a nest of uh, like the fine dry stuff and all these uh, sort of crisscrossed uh, bigger branches are dry the damp stuff's at the back just to dry out for later on but with putting the fire together like that rocks underneath then the zigzagged uh, twigs underneath the actual fire nest 
we're going to get lots of oxygen through that and then it's going to reflect back towards us and hopefully we'll enjoy it from somewhere over here Cheers, bud. Yeah, you fly with your little sticks. I'm having a whale of a time over here, me. Yeah, I'll go on. Oh, there we go. Uh, right, Nige. Right, yeah. There's a buzz phrase if it cracks, it crackles. And that sort of uh, squeaks a bit. Yeah, but yeah. it's not that bit I'm really looking at. To be fair. Yeah. Well, once we get started, we can yeah. just dry it's it out. It's the big stuff I want. Yeah. But trying to get that out of that, unless we rig up somewhere snapping oh. it in these walls. Right, this is Casadel Laidlaw. So this evening I've got um, my survival blanket underneath the uh, Thermarest, Neoair Thermarest, and then the Rab bag, and I've got a, a silk liner, and there's a, uh, a Sea to Summit pillow. Is it Sea to Summit? No, Poundland. Poundland pillow, that's it, because it works and it costs a pound, and I'm from Yorkshire. Um, so let's go and have a look at what Nigel's is like. Right, Nigel, what do you think to the erection of my trail star? You are 95% there. What would you alter? Not too much. Do you not like that little bow? It's too much, you've got the bow. Take it off then. You got it so you got the bow there and then that's where so it's not actually do you see what I mean? It's not the most supporting. Ah right, because it's so it, yeah, yeah right, there's too much length in it. Yeah, it's too much. Me and my Nige, we have issues. Oh. Those pegs are to push in. You told me to buy them. So why don't you just buy the pegs like any normal person that comes with the tent? You didn't tell me to do that. Mind you, I didn't, I didn't say I was getting it until after I bought it, did I? No. Thank you. All right, let's get the inner side now.
Morning, Nigel. Morning. Wasn't the original plan to get up nice and early? What time is it? It's it's not early. What time is it? It's about half past eight. Fire sat nicely on top of those rocks, so the da the fire the fire didn't damage the ground any more than it uh, already had. Um, we're going to leave those stones to encourage people to use this fire site as opposed to that and that. So with those stones there, that'll protect the ground. And this is us away now. Absolutely perfect. Good camp? Yep. Look at that. Can't beat the view. I mean, that was my view this morning. Yeah, that's not half bad, is it, pal? Alright, let's get to Arsenal. <laughs> 